this is a uh, just a video that will introduce you to WordPress and show you so what some of these options do uh, the home option takes you to the dashboard of WordPress this is where you have all the activity stats for your website and any notifications uh, in concern to your plugins or updates etc the update section also has notifications uh, it lets you know if you need to update your WordPress website or if you need to update any plugins or themes that you have installed in your WordPress website the posts section is where all the blogs uh, the blog posts are and uh, you can add new posts in this section as well the categories uh, for these posts can be added in the categories section and tags for any posts can be added in the tags section the media section is where you can upload any images or videos that you need to add to your website the pages section is where you create the home page and the about us page and any other any and and any other pages that you need to create for your website <coughs> excuse me the comments page is where all the comments are for your website you can add them here you can delete them here and you can move any of the spam comments into the spam section from this section as well the appearance section is where the themes are and you can add new themes in the appearance section and customize any themes where you need to the customized options are always different for every theme every theme is made uniquely and contains different functionality which you can read about before you buy or install any themes you can change uh, certain things using the customization option and these things usually get changed in real time which is pretty cool and helps you design the website with a lot of comfort the widgets section is where your sidebar is the sidebar is mostly populated all over your website you can choose to not have a sidebar but we will discuss that later um, if you want to add something to your sidebar for example if you want to add a search bar to your sidebar you just click on the search widget the widget basically is a set of codes that are already in in WordPress in a form of a widget that you can use to activate a certain functionality that you want to use on your website for example in this case I want to use a search bar on my website so I'm gonna put it in the sidebar section and save it which will end up showing a search bar in the sidebar on my website I will go into more detail about this later uh, these widgets come uh, in the form of plugins and can also be hard coded into your WordPress website where necessary but these are advanced things and not something I would recommend for someone starting out with WordPress the menus option is where you can add the primary navigation for your website you can name it whatever you like I'm gonna name it primary for now you can add in whatever pages you have into this menu and save it if there is a coding for a navigation in your WordPress team the menu will show up However, I don't see anything showing up for the default team for WordPress at the moment. The header option is something that is available in the WordPress default team. Uh, this is something that is custom. Uh, 
based on this theme and you will, may not find this option in all teams that you install into WordPress. The editor is basically a text editor that lets you edit these files that you have installed in the templates folder of your website. I would not suggest editing these if you do not know what you're doing. The plugins section is where you can see all the installed plugins for your website. You can add new plugins over here as well and delete and manage your old plugins as well. The editor section is where you can open the uh, you can edit files uh, that are relative to the plugins and again this is something I would not suggest you edit unless you know what you're doing. The users section is where you can add or remove any users that you want to in your uh, from your WordPress website. The tools section contain tools that you can use with your WordPress website. At the moment there are only import and export functions. These are useful to make backups uh, for your website and to restore some functions to your website as well in case you lose any data. There are other plugins also available that do this for you with much more comfort. The settings section is where you put in basic information that is in concern with your website like the site title or the tagline and the WordPress URL which is your domain URL. You can also choose to allow memberships and the default user role of the website. The default user role is the role assigned to a user that signs up to your website. The writing option and all these other options are more advanced and something that we will discuss when we are developing our website.